awakening family of light. Message begins right now. You will start to embrace your dreams and desires, as a soul, as you stop living from need. Instead of I need, replace your words with I desire and see if the same thing you were saying is still true for you. Feel the vibration and your heart cellular body when you speak the different words. You must expect awesome surprises, miracles are the human's words, if it is to occur for you, as the human aspect expects the worst to occur, which creates this reality too. Start adding more I desires into your reality to start to activate your own other dimensional dreams to come true. Then start to dedicate your energy and your physical world resources to bringing your highest dreams through that support your new vision true for you. Note, if it serves others from your own highest love, it will come faster than if you only focus on you. This is one of the key codes of unity slash crystal slash crystalline consciousness that you unlock within you. When you start to feed your higher heart-centered desires over your human fears, you shift your own reality yourself and you stop coming from fear slash lack slash old programs first. Now, sometimes you will need to shift all of your focus on yourself. For your physical body, light body, crystalline structure needs to upgrade and it takes all of your energy to allow this to occur. When the merging slash infusing slash integration slash reconfiguration process is complete, after sleep, nature, cave time, alone slash me slash we time, you'll come back online, awaken with new clarity more energy and ability to function easier and focus your energy on your own soul's purposes and galactic missions here. Where you waste your energy, you will become exhausted faster and deplete. You will learn, remember, how important energy is, because you are becoming pure source energy again. Every time the whole is your focus, all will come easier for you as you honor you. When you stop dishonoring you out of fear, accepting less feeding the old realities of have to, subjecting yourself to old programs out of avoiding, hiding, allowing manipulation, your lack of inner power and a distorted belief and old human slash Atlantean slash reptilian energy you have yet to clear, and you actually start to realize how all of this works, as you gift responsibility back to others for taking full responsibility for their own soul's journey of becoming self re-empowered again, realizing that they came here to clear their own karmic everything, unconscious programs of all of their existences too, you will realize that you agreed to take theirs on as yours, yet the moment you become conscious you stop doing this, for your soul contract is paid in full unless you keep it going, you keep allowing it, you remain unconscious until all of that energy is gone from inside of you. At some point you realize that their reality is theirs and you turn them back over to their own higher self, universe to do whatever they need to hear and you focus on yourself, what you are doing and you resume your conscious realities again. Realities only in it when when we need to experience the other's reality as our own. Humans do this. Souls do not. Souls stand in their own power and allow each to learn from their own experiences however they need to, chose as a soul. Realities become commingled when one steps up to take the helm, to take responsibility because others are not standing in their own power fully and doing what they came here to do as a higher dimensional being, because humans see others as less instead of seeing that they hold the power when they are ready to embrace too. At some point, the responsible one becomes the crutch, the excuse. This will diminish as each sees what belief, mentality they are listening to, coming together to create opportunity for each other, to open portals and show the way is part of what we all do. At some point we've said enough done enough and it's time to let others take the helm of their own realities themselves. Some will suffer consequences because they still have much karmic residue, programs inside that they are not ready to deal with, see, limits they still see, excuses they still make, lack everything that they still believe. Not one of us can fix all of that, it's not our job here. It is our job to love them, 
to open a portal for them to walk through and let them experience their own journey through the tunnel, the vortex, across the bridge, back. When each starts to realize that every reality either empowers or disempowers and that each was meant to because we do not become empowered until we realize we allowed disempowered states to occur, that we actually needed them to teach us, show us, what we could not see before. These energies are for all to return to full power within themselves, as love. Love for self must come first for each to love and respect all others fully too. When he compromise us, we are not loving us which equates to we are not loving anyone, thing and we are living a reality of lack. Until each truly honors themselves first, they do not have the capability to hold that pure love for all as one here. Pay attention to the stories your head tells you, the stories others speak to try to convince you of what is, is not true. Pay attention to when you succumb to less because of distorted beliefs, pay attention to what you support with your energy, your money, your everything. This creates your own reality for you. You created all of that. What you do, or don't do, allows it to keep happening in your own reality, head, world. Your physical reality will deliver to you exactly what you hold, allow vibrationally. Most of all, Pay attention to the way you feel. You are here to thrive. Survival is an old unconscious dimension we all came here to transcend from within. You will clear this program as you start to choose, do differently than before. As you realize where you are coming from. As you walk in honor, trust, faith and the perceived unknown. Our higher dimensional timelines we've all waited for. As you open your heart as wide as you can. As you allow realities to occur as they are meant to and you look at your own and you realize that you have the power to affect and master realities when you stand in your own power as love for all. Human aspects come from lack, they manipulate, they try to convince, they use tactics, they believe their own stories of less, not enough and if you are human, you will believe this too. Which aspect of you is present right now? Which aspect of them is present now too? Do you just see their human? Or do you see in-dimensional aspects and dominant versions based upon vibrational frequencies? Are you loving and respecting you? Are you enjoying fully, happy with your current reality all of the time? Or are you living an old disillusioned one still? Are you allowing unconscious realities to continue? Your reality changes when you clear that old energy from inside of you. When you resolve all, when you are willing to see what you didn't want to see before and you shift to love for you and radiate this out to all. What part of you is still in saving mode and taking on responsibility that is not technically yours anymore? Until then, reality is as you allow it to be which in essence is your creation still, question mark. Unity consciousness is everyone on the same page, everyone pulling their weight, everyone contributing, supporting. It's not a take game anymore. That was the old human way and old timelines that collapse for those still trying to live in them. As each comes to awaken and realize that new earth is a reality of full contribution and support, that receiving is a response to what we put into all and continually intentionally transmit out, then each will actually start to step up and fulfill their soul's purposes, missions here and actually become a real part of our new earth now. It starts with intention. It's achieved through fully conscious action as fully responsible source creators here. All will come to understand what it takes to sustain high vibrational realities in the physical here. You cannot bring your lack with you, you cannot bring your selfishness with you, your inability to open up and share. You cannot receive fully until you've transcended all of that within. The limits are not outside, they are inside of you. That out there is your reflection, your mirror that your holographic reality makes concrete, solid so that you can see the programs that you hold inside of you. As you learn to decode your program, the old matrix realities and see from beyond, 
you will start to realize how all works from the higher dimensional realms. You must expand your consciousness to see what you could not before. When you go small and shrink down, you go human and you lose your abilities until your heart, mind opens fully again. You can wait until the realities have played themselves out and there is nothing left. Wait until everything collapses or you can take the helm and stand in your own power as love from within and you can realign your own reality so that a new one starts to play. This is a part of your own mastering parallels and choosing the one you desire to experience here. Your mindset, your energy, your actions, your physical body, everything dictate the dimensional timeline you experience here. The more quantum your cells. The more you can shift realities just through your presence. The more physical density, the more you must experience this. The experience alone clears the dense program from your physical body which dictates your psychical reality. So as you do this from inside, your physical reality will clear the density as well. As you start to realize that the physical matter in your physical reality represents your own consciousness, unconsciousness. Then you start to choose what physical matter you will allow in your own physical reality, for this directly affects your own reality here. Physical density is representation. All effects slash is slash represents your own consciousness here. When you change the density of your physical, then your consciousness can again, further expand. Think about it. Why do you think that is in your reality and what do you think will shift the vibration so that your own reality can shift for you? Physical matter is dictated by each is expanded, full consciousness. It's only the other way around when one is still unconscious. The atoms and molecules in that physical matter vibrate according to your own consciousness here. Totally change your vibration and the physical reality rearranges its physical form in response to question mark. Vibrational realities. This is how all works. Energy. See the energy beyond the psychical, beneath, behind the words. Your human believes words. Your soul hears slash feels slash knows truth beyond what your ears hear. Your pineal gland activated by your higher heart gives you vision again. Until your earthly eyes and your inner eye merge to become one, then close your eyes and go inside to see from the other dimensions that you have access to from inside. Eventually, the outer and inner become the same. When they are not, pull away and go deep inside, in silence to see access, understand what was not visible to you before. Your access is through your own soul inside. As you are willing to go deep inside to gain access to infinite dimensions, timelines, you will be able to start to activate these to come forth, materialize in your physical here. When higher consciousness is a higher vibration than you, you will go up and down to access this, yet if you move it inside, then you will clear cellular programs faster for your own cells to start to move, activate and shake your body, stargates, ascension, for you to vibrate into another reality. Embodiment gives you access to the other dimensions in the physical here. Channeling the energy is a part of the process that gives you access to these higher vibrations so that you can learn to work with the energy through your body as its vibration raises high enough for you to walk as these highest aspect selves in this physical here. As you embody, you stop channeling. You are able to run pure source light through your crystalline structure without separating off into different aspects anymore. This is a process where your whole body must be upgraded substantially for all of your old unconscious program to clear, restore your template back to original without the distortions of the old. Your genetics rewriting, recoding. Your DNA activating your higher consciousness aspects and mutating your physical body makeup for you to walk in higher dimensional timelines now. Your body holds all and your energy field does too. If you do not respect this, then you are not respecting you. If this is not your priority, then you will suffer to allowing less. This is not a threat, as the human would perceive, this reality. 
it's how all works here. If you compromise, you are the one that experiences this compromise. Where you are not ready yet, this will become visible too. Where you hold back, lack, this does as well. Everything does, just as where you are fully committed and you dedicate your entire existence to what you came here to do, this is rewarded through gifts, support, opportunity and the most pristine, divine, amazing physical realities, because you overcame your own separation and you stepped up, you became a contributor, supporter for all of New Earth now. You decided it was finally important enough for you to shift your focus, your energy in order to be an integral part of it all. Your access is granted when you are fully on board, not until you determine this. Yes, this is all you, question mark. Choose your earth loves, old or new. It doesn't happen for you, yet it does, as a vibrational response. Join us on the other side. We are already here. We don't wait for you, that was old programming. We went on, just as you'll have to too. End of the message. Much love to all you soul sisters, brothers. Watch DNA Awakening previous videos for better understanding. New subscribers will be updated with the latest articles and informations. We hope this channel has helped you discover where to start on your actual spiritual path. It's a good karma to put to like, comment, subscribe and share with your beloved ones. Leave your suggestion in the field below. All the love to you, beautiful soul.